Hey guys, this video will cover phase four, which is weeks nine to 10 for a rotator cuff repair for a small to medium sized tear. The goal of phase four of this rehab is to one, continue to protect the repair, continue to increase your range of motion to end range as much as possible, and continue to strengthen the muscles of the shoulder. The precautions remain the same for this phase compared to the previous phase, which is no lifting more than 10 pounds. In terms of range of motion restrictions, your external rotation is now limited to about 45 degrees, so you can go a lot further. Initially, it was at about 20, and then it went from there to about 30, and then now we're at about 45. So if this is 90 degrees here, and this is zero here, so somewhere in between about 45 degrees, that's where we're limited. In terms of shoulder flexion, we can be about 155 degrees now, so much higher than in the beginning where we're kind of just stuck to about 90 degrees. For the exercises, we will modify the program a little bit. We'll stop doing the exercises from phase one because at, that, at this point, those exercises are likely too easy, so we'll stick with phase two, phase three, and the exercises that we have on this phase. For strengthening, the exercises are progressed once again. We're adding weight bearing to some of the exercises. So we're adding our own body weight onto the shoulder joint so the shoulder can provide stability to itself. Wall push-ups is the next exercise. This is the first exercise where we're applying a little bit of weight to the shoulder so the shoulder can provide stability to itself. So just so start off with a wall. Don't have your elbows flared out. Turn them in and then set the shoulder blade a little bit, just how, like how I showed in phase three. And then from there, you just go in a little bit slow and then you come out as far as you can. Make sure you're not arching your back into it because you don't want to create low back pain when you're doing this exercise. So make sure the core is nice and tight. And then you're just going in and going out. 20 to 30 of these is typically what I have my folks do. Weighted serratus punches is going to be the next exercise. This is the same exercise that we did in phase three. The only exception here is we're adding weight. So I have a three pound weight here and you're just punching up. This is the starting position. And the actual exercise is taking the, the arm and reaching up towards the ceiling, making sure your shoulder blade is not touching the table. Hold it here for about 10 seconds and then slowly return the shoulder blade back to the table and then you re-engage. 10 second hold up at the top again, and then slowly returning that back. Prone eyes is the next exercise. With this, you're laying on your stomach. First of all, you wanna set the shoulder blades first by squeezing them about 50% effort. Once you have it squeezed, you wanna go ahead and lift both arms up with the palms facing down onto the table. So once you lift that up, hold it there for about 10 seconds, and then you bring that down. As you bring the arms down, your shoulder blades are still squeezed. And once the arms return to the table, then you can relax and then you repeat for 10. So 10 second holds up at the top and then 10 times. Alternating shoulder taps is the next exercise. Another nice exercise to progress into weight bearing for the shoulder. So you just find a table. I have, I'm gonna use a treatment table. Put a little bit of weight here and all you're doing is tapping the alternate shoulder. So here is the time where your entire body weight is on the shoulder. You're just tapping that, giving that a couple of seconds. I usually have my folks do 10 to 20 of these as well. Um, one common compensation that I see people do is they, are, they don't engage their core. So what happens is they tend to just lean into it and then they do this. So what I want is have you to be protracted at the shoulder blade almost like you're doing the serratus punches and then go into the exercise. So just making sure you're not like that, but we're here. And then start from there. Quadruped pointer is the next exercise. This is another weight bearing exercise where you're on all fours and then intermittently you're on one arm. So with this exercise, you start in the quadruped position like this, and then you bring this up. You can hold it for five to 10 seconds, and then you alternate. 
five to 10 seconds. So that would be one. You perform about 10 to 20 of these. Since these exercises are getting a little bit harder, please feel free to use ice for 10 to 20 minutes afterwards to help alleviate some of that soreness. That's all I have for you for phase four. Stay tuned for the next video, which I will go over in phase five, which will cover weeks 11 to 12.